To sell on Etsy, you need to create at least one shipping template. On the dashboard, you'll find all the existing shipping templates which you might have created at the time of onboarding process or in your Etsy store. In order to create a new shipping template, click on Add New button. Then, in the title field, you have to give a desired name to your shipping template which will be displayed in your product listing. You can enable the weight option and set a weight range. And our weight unit converter lets you pick up any unit you want from the drop down menu. The weight range feature has been introduced to enable you to select shipping template if you have products segmented based on weights. In the shipping origin, select the location from where you want to ship your products. In the minimum processing days, enter the least number of days your products would take to reach the customer's end. In the maximum processing days, enter the number of days you will take to fulfill at large. Then comes the worldwide shipping. It is to create a template when you are setting your shipping cost for all around the globe. You can either provide free shipping or you may set a fixed charge. If you have selected a fixed charge, then two other options will be enabled. Primary cost and the secondary cost. Primary cost, in this section, set a cost if you fulfill a single product order. In the secondary cost, set a cost for the case wherein you fill orders in bulk. Secondary cost is the additional cost which you incur at the time of fulfilling orders in bulk. So it can be filled in here. And remember, secondary cost must be less than primary cost. Now in the standard shipping section, which is to create templates for the cases when your shipping origin and shipping destination country are the same. Here also you can fill up the primary and secondary cost. Further, you can create multiple shipping templates for different locations you sell in. Click on add another location. Once you are done, click on save option and you'll be headed to the dashboard. Now, on the dashboard, you'll get to see the existing shipping templates as well as the newly created one. You can also edit the shipping template anytime you want by clicking on the edit icon. And yeah, you are done. Thank you.